for those of you who don't know me personally and stuff, I'm kind of going to let you know about how this truck started and where it began from. I'm going to end up posting pictures of basically the truck when I got it. Uh, I picked it up about six, seven months ago from a guy, I think, out towards Columbia. It had a blown V6 4.3 liter with the foil 60 in it. Um, picked it up, hauled it here. Um, it was all stripped apart where the guy had been taking parts off of it and stuff. So I ran into a few issues with that. And then uh, I live, there's a local pick apart, like not even 10 minutes from my house. Well, I went out there and I found a truck. They just brought it in, so they hadn't like drained the tank or anything yet. So uh, it was a 2500 HD. And uh, I went out there, I was able to fire it up, put it in gear, make sure it went in gear and everything since they had just got the truck. And uh, I pulled everything out that day, it took me about four or five hours out there to get everything out. Then uh, me and my brother took the motor, trans and everything up to the shop, took the truck up to the shop. We did the swap in a weekend, like we took the stock 2500 HDs uh, trans cross member since it bolts to the bottom of the frame and that's how we ended up doing our trans cross member. Um, we did do a little bit of welding as far as getting the mount up to where we wanted it, but I mean, it's nothing super complicated. I'll show pictures of that. I'm also going to show pictures of kind of the truck when I first got it and a few of the pictures of when we was putting the motor into the truck. Um, but yeah, since then, first started out, just was building as like just a weekend race truck and ended up running real good and was decent on fuel mileage. So I actually started driving it more than my big white truck because it actually even now with the big cam and everything it gets pretty good fuel economy um only issue i have with fuel is when i'm running e85 most of the time and i only have a 17 gallon cell then it gets kind of aggravating but i mean i still go 200 250 miles on a 17 gallon cell with e85 um but yeah it started out as a nice like just a little weekend track truck i'd go and run to the bracket races i wasn't too worried about the way the truck looked or anything because i mean it was all beat up in the bed have you seen like the pictures of the old bed in my uh one of my recent videos so i mean i ended up cutting that bed out just dropping weight and uh hood and everything stripped out because i mean they got little dents in them here and there and stuff but uh now that I got her running good, running consistent, she's actually making money at the track. I'm actually starting to fix her up body-wise to uh, get her looking nice on the outside, which is going to be a lot of what you see in this video. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you a quick montage of basically where she started from to where she is now with the new wheels and everything I've put on it this week. And uh, just... If you could, like, subscribe, and comment down in the bottom section what you think, um, any tips or anything you'd like to see, and I'll try to see what I can do. I, like I said, I still got that other project coming up. It might be two weeks to a month before I start on that one, but uh, a lot of y'all are going to be really interested in that, so that's coming up, and uh, I'm trying to think of what else I got going on. I do need to get working on the big white truck. I did some tuning on it today. I actually picked up a little bit of fuel economy. Um, whenever I put HP tuners on it, I noticed that thing was only running like seven degrees of timing. Like if you gave it over half throttle, so it, and torque management was like pulling all the power out. Um, if you know anything about HP tuners with these uh, LS motors or whatever, you can kind of see the delivered engine torque that it measures and just i mean simple changes i didn't even do a full tune with a wide band or anything it, i picked up to where it says i'm making like 50 60 more foot pounds of torque just by adding timing in there and uh just getting all that torque management and stuff these things are so restricted from the factory so one of the number one things i think you should do is probably get a vehicle tuned if you're looking at just doing anything performance wise with these well, I'm going to quit flapping my gums and I'm going to go ahead and let y'all see the montage and let me know what you think.
Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go